Hello fellow Unreal Engine artists, designers and developers. There's a problem with the subsurface scattering in the Megascans master foliage material. When you face into the sun, the foliage is too dark in the distance. So in today's tutorial, I'll show you a quick fix so that all your future Quixel bridge foliage looks perfect on your landscape. I want to give uh, full credit to Nemesis007 on the Unreal Slackers Discord for bringing this problem to my attention and for providing the solution. So you can see here that the issue is with the subsurface scattering in the distance of the foliage. So this affects um, all of the Megascans foliage that you can get from Quixel Bridge. And the particular problem is when you're facing the sun, the distant foliage should be lighter but is actually darker. So this works as a fix for both nanite and non-nanite foliage. I'll show you the nanite fix first as that's quickest and then I'll show you the extra step you need to do for non-nanite foliage at the end of this video. So um, first thing we'll do is we'll convert this to nanite. So I will go into my explorer. I'm just using one of these uh, Quixel wild grasses here. So let's open that up and I will change it to nanite support and preserve area and save that. So when I come back here, you can see that the grass in the distance is much more detailed. Um, it doesn't look too bad, but um, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be as dark as it is at the top here. So we need to change the subsurface scattering in the master material to fix that issue. So if you go to the materials here, let's actually open up the material instance for this grass. And we'll keep that open because we'll change it later. But if you go into the hierarchy, you can see that this based on the Megascans master foliage material. So if you open that up, you'll notice that there is this translucency function that plugs into the subsurface color. And it's this subsurface color that we're going to replace with our new three nodes. So what we'll do is we will create a new texture sampler. So we'll do it as a parameter 2D. We'll also create a new vector. In fact, the quickest way to do that is to hold three on the keyboard and press that to get a vector three. And we'll convert this to a parameter and we'll call this sub surface tint. We'll call the parameter up here subsurface texture. And we'll put the subsurface texture into the input textures group. And we'll put the subsurface tint into the albedo group. And now what we need to do is just multiply them together. and plug the output into the subsurface color. So this uh, material function for translucency is no longer needed. In fact, you could delete that once you've um, uh, tested everything works. Now, subsurface tint, I'll make white by default. That will be way too bright, but we can uh, bring it down in the material instance. And that's pretty much done. So let's do apply and save here. And let's come out of here. If you look at the map now, everything is uh, very light, probably probably too light. Um, so let's take our material instance. Let's move it over here so we can see the effects of it. And you'll see we have a couple of new parameters in our material instance. The first one is subsurface texture. Yours will probably be set to a, uh, a blank texture at the moment. So what I've done here is I've selected the same texture as the albedo, so the diffuse texture for the wild grass. So you can see I'm using 2K textures here, which is probably sufficient for foliage. It doesn't really matter which uh, quality level you use. And the second thing is the subsurface tint. Now, again, you'll probably be seeing a very, very bright uh, 
image here. If I go in here and I bring that up to white, you're probably seeing that. So you need to bring that down to a much lower value to give you the authentic looking grass here. But um, you'll see here that now, even in our low sky, we're seeing the sun uh, reflecting properly at the top here and only the shadows in the bits that are hidden from the sun. And actually, while we're in the colour picker here, you can do some tinting here as well. If you want a slightly more greener grass, you can move it over to the green um, end of the spectrum. If you want deader grass, you can sort of start to move it towards the browner end of the spectrum. So you can change the tint of the grass to get different looks as, here, as well. So I'll keep it in the middle here. Um, go OK there and save that. And so um, that's pretty much the work done. So if you're using just nanite grass, now you've uh, fixed the issue and that will work because you've done it in the master material. That will work on any mega scans foliage that you download from Quixel Bridge. Now, there's one extra step you need to do for non nanite grass. So let's cover that now. All right, so I've switched my grass back to the original non nanite material and you can see it's even more pronounced in the distance that you've got the dark material. And the thing with non nanite material is it has levels of detail and for the grass, it ends up in this billboard material at the end, which is a flat plane. And it's the billboard material we need to update to have the same translucency and subsurface functionality. So that's quite easy to do. Let's go into our Explorer. And if you go into the grass, just to look at it, you'll see that we've got our original material instance here that we were changing before. And we've also got the billboard material. So let's go into the billboard material here and open that up. And we need to find out what master material that uses. It's got a uh, master billboard material. So if we open that up, what we need to do, and you can see I've done this already, is add in the same functionality. So you can see here I've got subsurface texture, tint and multiplied. And instead of the original translucency function, we'll plug that in. So it's exactly the same steps that we're taking. And once we've saved that, then in the material instance for the billboard material, you'll have subsurface texture and subsurface tint, just like before. And you want to match those to the settings you made for the nanite materials. And so we'll find that if we come out here now, that you the billboard material is now more in line with the uh, material in the foreground. And we can go in and we can change that if, if we want as well. So I hope you found this quick tip useful. Again, thanks to Nemesis 07 for finding the solution to this. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.